Sharing your testimony could seem like foolishness. You know, when I think about it, it's nerve wracking, daunting, not for me. Do you feel under equipped? Do you sometimes say to yourself, what I have to say? No one wants to hear that, it's not relevant. What about mountain movers? Front page news type of faith from those, you know, uh, exploit doers who are always everybody wants to follow, the charismatic people. What I have to say, please God. You know, the Bible says it's impossible to please God without faith. But my faith? I'm just John, Sharon, Mary, Tony. Listen, you're not on your own. Faith has an author and a finisher. You know, like a book writer, faith has a chapter and a verse. It has been planned out and our testimony has a chapter in that very book. And guess what? I've got good news. The author and finisher of our book of faith is Jesus. What's our expectation? I won't get a like, I won't get a comment, I'll get a thumbs down, I won't get a comment of agreement. That does not mean there are not them out there that might believe by the foolishness of our testimony. You know, the Bible says God will watch over the words that bring glory to his name. He said he watches over his word and it cannot return unto him void. Isn't that great? <laughs> can't wait. I can't wait to start. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, I should say, 1 Corinthians, yeah, chapter 1, verse 21 says, For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Ha! Verse 27 went on to say, But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Hmm. That's great. You know, based upon that, the foolishness of my testimony, the foolishness of me sharing my faith can please God. Yes, and someone might believe, but I feel like a baby. But that's why the verse says in Psalms 8 verse 2, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, thou hast ordained strength because of thine enemies that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. Oh, this is great, this is great. So all of a sudden, me, if I share my faith online, it causes an expectation. And in this case, the expectation is, oh, I might get a like, yeah. I might get a comment, yeah. I'll get a thumbs up. I'll get a comment of agreement. Well done. Sharon, Tony, John, Jack, Philip, for sharing our faith online. So I want to end this chapter by just saying, share your faith online. It pleases God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Wow. So even if you think your faith is not where you want it to be yet, it pleases God to save them that believe. Isn't that great? Let's say it together. It pleases God to save them that believe. Share your faith. My name's Philip Noel. Sharing faith.